Hello and welcome. So version 417 of the Z1 dashboard has just been released. And as always, that means new features and new dashboards. We've got nine new dashboards in this latest version. And in this video, we are going to take a look at each of those new dashboards. So let's get started. So first up is the Formula Dash 4. Uh, this is uh, dash 4A, and there's also a 4B. These two go together. So 4A shows uh, your gear. You've got your last lap time, your current lap time, uh, things like RPM, watch temperature, and your lap count, and then also your shift LEDs at the top. Formula Dash 4B, uh, this one here shows uh, various statistics about the car, uh, things like RPM, your oil pressure, water pressure, um, throttle, uh, battery uh, gear, and you have uh, air, water, and oil temps, uh, how much fuel you have, uh, what lap you're on, and your deltas, uh, your current lap time, and your last lap time, as well as your shipping. So Formula Dash 3, uh, this is a set of three dashboards, uh, A, B, and C. Uh, they're intended to work together. So A, which is the one you're looking at now, this has uh, your, your gear, your water temp, your oil pressure, uh, lap time, has uh, DRS usage, uh, which is how many times you've activated the DRS, uh, has your speed and your RPM, uh, your shift lights, your current launch settings, and uh, the pedal map. Uh, dash 3B. This one uh, is more for qualifying mode. You have uh, the gear, your last lap time, and your current delta, uh, so you know if you're ahead or behind, whatever your uh, best lap is. Uh, you also have your DRS usage and your speed and RPM, and uh, again, launch limit and uh, your pedal map. Then the final uh, dashboard in the set of three is uh, Dash 3C. Uh, this one gives more statistics and information about the car. Uh, order, um, your oil and uh, water temps, the air temp, uh, car voltage, uh, and the fuel pressure and oil pressure, as well as uh, your current gear, uh, brake and throttle inputs, and your RPM. Okay, so the GT dashes. Uh, there are two GT dashes, uh, 4A and 4B. Uh, and just like the previous uh, formula dashes, these ones are designed to work together as well. Uh, so the first one uh, shows things like oil and water temps, uh, your fuel level and your fuel pressure, uh, and gives you a gear selector. Uh, both uh, dashes give you uh, your shift lights, your RPM, uh, bar at the top, and on the bottom you have your lap time, DRS information, uh, your delta to your best lap. There's also a delta bar, so the faster, uh, the more ahead of the uh, delta you are, the farther to the left the bar goes. 
and if you're behind it, it goes to the right into the red zone. And then you have brake bias and miles per hour. Now in 4B, you have your core tire temps. Now note this is not the surface tire, it's actually the core carcass tire. So it's going to change uh, less quickly than the surface tire, but will give you a more uh, consistent reading and a more accurate reading of what sort of temperature you build up you have within your tires. And then on the right side, you have your tire pressures uh, for all four tires. Super Speedway 3 and Super Speedway 4. Uh, these two dashboards are similar to Super Speedway 1 and 2. Uh, they're a more updated version and they also introduce uh, digital readouts of the oil temp and water temp uh, when you're using uh, Super Speedway 3 and uh, the speed in either miles per hour or kilometers and the water temp when you're using Super Speedway number 4. Uh, in both dashboards, you also get a lap count, a position, fuel, uh, how many laps of fuel you have left, and your current lap time, uh, as well as a gear indicator and a small RPM bar. And when you come into the pits, uh, at the bottom, it will give you a distance uh, to your pit stall, uh, which can be very useful, especially when you're coming in and there's 20, 30 cars in the pit lane.